If you've created visual content for posting onto social media, you will know that it is a time consuming process. So in this video, I'm going to show you a technique that is called variables. It will allow you to connect the content inside of your Illustrator document to data in the form of a CSV file. And this will allow you to have multiple artboards in one document with varying designs for specific sized output to different platforms and then refresh that content on every artboard at the click of a button. And not only that, once you have those different designs in place, you can then within a couple of clicks export them out to a multitude of file formats ready to post online. I just want to give you a sense of what we're working with here on the desktop. I've got my original artwork called SM. It's an Illustrator file. I've then got an images folder which has inside of it a combination of JPEGs, Photoshop documents and Illustrator files. And then we have back up in the main folder an Excel spreadsheet containing all of the data that we're going to use to populate and alter our artwork in Illustrator. We have, first of all, three text-based variables. The first controls the name of the application. The design here currently shows Photoshop. We then have a text variable that controls the title in each design, in this case, distressed image edges. The third text variable controls the description in each of the designs. And then we have three image variables. So we have the profile photograph of each person. Then we have the icon for the software, in this case, it's Photoshop. And then we have the background artwork in the form of a gradient, which is a JPEG. Whenever you're referencing image data as a variable, it will have to contain a prefix of the at symbol. And in this example, we've got at photos, at logo and at background. You'll also have to specify the exact route to where that image is stored and the name of the file along with its corresponding file type. And the final kind of variable we have in this document is one that controls visibility. So in the data that always has to have a prefix of a hashtag, here, I've quite simply called it visibility, and that will control whether the live stream symbols you see higher up are visible or not. Where true is in the data, it's visible. Where it's false, then it's hidden. So we need to take our original Excel spreadsheet and then save it as a .csv file. So to do that, I will go to File and choose Save As. And then it takes me straight back to my posting folder where all the other content is. So from the drop down menu, I'll change that to CSV and then click on save. Just to show you that, of course, Excel isn't the only place where we could create the data for our variables. This example here is of a Google sheet. All that you would need to do is go to file, choose download, and then pick the CSV file format from the list in there. So that will be another approach to take. So to connect variable data to your content inside of Illustrator, you'll need to go to Window and then down to the Variables panel to open it up. I'll click on Import and then choose the CSV file that we just exported from Excel. And you'll notice that the variable names match the headings that we had in the Excel spreadsheet. All we need to do now is select and connect the elements in our artwork to those variable labels. I'm going to hide everything in the Layers panel with the exception of the live stream layer, which contains those symbols. If I go across to the far right hand side of the layers panel, I can left click on the selection column to select everything in that layer. Dead easy. And to make this process even quicker in the future, to connect it to other data, I can go to select, choose safe selection, give this a name, and I'll call this live stream, kind of makes sense really, and click OK. And with those symbols still selected, if I go to the variables panel, click on the item I want to connect it to, which is the visibility, and click on make visibility dynamic, it will connect all six of these symbols to that variable, hence why we've now got six items connected in there in the list. Now I'll turn back on the visibility for the four of the layers, go back to the select menu, and then you'll notice in the list from here, I have a series of saved selections. Just like the one that I created at the bottom of the list called Livestream, I've got selections saved for the titles, software, description, and logos in this document. And all I have to do is click on that to load up the selection of those text frames containing just the titles on all the artboards, go down to the variables panel, click on the variable I want to link it to, but this time click on the button at the bottom called make text dynamic. Now you'll probably find at this point that you have to make this variables panel a little bit bigger so you can see everything. I'm going to speed up the video for this next portion because the technique is the same. So that is to link up the software names, the descriptions, and the three different types of images for the photos, the logo, and uh, the background artwork as well. So I'm just split my screen here to show you the designs we now have connected to the data inside of Illustrator. 
and how that relates to the original Excel spreadsheet. And here with Dataset 1 active, you can see that the designs are completely changed. Now you can click on the drop down menu and choose any one of the available data sets, or you can click on the previous data set or next data set buttons in there to cycle through the different options. Of course, far quicker than having to edit this content manually yourself. Now it's normal that Illustrator will only allow you to export what you can see currently in your document. We, however, have multiple data sets to export. So there is a workaround and that means that we have to go to the window menu and open up the actions panel. I'll head down to the bottom of the actions panel and create a new action set. I'm going to name this batch export and then I'll create a brand new action and I'll call this export. That will save it in the batch export folder I've just made and now I'll click on record. Head up to the file menu, export and then choose export as. This will ask me where I want to save this and I will direct this into the exports folder we've got set up. I will set this to a PNG file and I'll make sure artboards are turned on and export all of them and then click on export. I'll leave most of the default options as they are except that I'll change the background colour from transparent to white. It can potentially save a little bit of file size. Other than that, I'll click OK. And just to make sure I've got all the file formats I need, I will repeat the same step, except this time I'll output for a JPEG format as well. And I'll just increase the quality to maximum before clicking OK. And then to batch output all of those files, head to the Power Flight menu of the Actions panel and click on Batch. It will automatically detect the action set and the action we've just made, but you will have to change the source to data sets. Lower down under destination, you can turn the checkbox for override action export command and then pick your own folder. I have mine set to the same export folder that we have set up on the desktop. The file name, I've chosen data set name. It's the shortest out of all of them. None of them are brilliant, but that's the one I'm going with. And I'll click OK. At which point Illustrator will do its work and export all of those files out for us. And here is that folder full of exported data sets. The export process alone is a fantastic time saver, but in its entirety, being able to use data merge to export out for social media, this is a fantastic workflow. Thanks for watching folks. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and you can always subscribe and click on the bell so you don't miss any of our future posts. And until next time, farewell.